We have five minutes left, so I want right. to turn this in a different direction. All right. Um, and I want to ask you, um, the question is, is, is why you study media? But before you answer, I want to make my own comments on this. Uh, I grew up in a household that was kind of chaotic with a single parent. And I spent a great deal of my time watching television. Yes. As and one of the reasons I study media is essentially to make sense of my own experience, mm -hmm. right. marooned on the end of the television set, connected up mm -hmm. to the media, but totally isolated from anyone else. And I'm still kind of trying to make sense of, of that experience, and I'm doing a pretty good job of it because I have a good life now, but I had a terrible life then. Mm -hmm. If I had had the internet <laughs> <laughs> when I was marooned on the end of my television yeah. set, man, I would have been yeah. in paradise. Yeah. No, I know. It's so that's why I study the yeah. media. Yeah. Clay, why do you study the media? You know, I had a, I had a, a kind of a similar experience. I, not, not in my childhood, but my, my life was at an absolute personal and professional nadir in the early 90s. So I had a lot of free Saturday evenings to sit home and read engineering documents. And I, my, I got on the internet because my mother suggested that I do it. My mother's a reference That's librarian. That's charming. Yeah, and I was, I was a theater director at the time. I had a company that staged nonprofit. We we took we, or not nonprofit. We took uh, we took nonfiction documents and created theatrical collages. And so I was spending a lot of time in the library doing this research. And my mom said, "Oh, you got to try this internet thing out. We're we're learning about it in library school. It's like a giant library." So when I got there, I had the frame of this is a large electronic library. Mm. And I got there, and the human element was so incredibly striking and powerful to me. I was literally, the first time I logged on, I was chatting with somebody in Alabama, right, at 2400 baud. I was drenched with sweat. I was online five hours straight. I don't think, you know, I don't, I... Why were you sweating? Because the, the, I think, I think there's two reasons. One, sort of the, the kind of personal connection mm -hmm. um, at a, a, an otherwise, you know, dismal time in my life. And the other was that the mental model that I had sat down with at 10, 10 at night was completely destroyed by 3 in the morning. Mm. And I think if someone had actually explained to me what the Internet was like before I got there, I would not have been excited about it. Mm. But it was seeing that when you come to it with any, any kind of metaphorical understanding, you either see that metaphor shredded very quickly, or you just continually use the metaphor and actually miss the weird stuff. So I developed a, a, an almost insatiable hunger for the real, right? And I started reading uh, RFCs, Request for Comments, the original design documents of the internet. Th th these are my fortunately free Saturday nights. And tried to understand what was happening. And what's so interesting to me about the media frame, and it has been consistently interesting all the way along, is Media is two different things. It is a middle layer um, in its literal sense, and Media. we now have a middle layer that reaches two billion people globally and, and you know, still, still growing more if you, in as much as you count the intersection of the cell phone and the, and, the, and the Internet. And it also means, in the English language, a series of traditional businesses and business practices headquartered in London, New York, and L.A. And the media. What's that? The oh, medium. Yeah. And there's no, there's no way to align those two things. Mm. And so I, I think the reason I'm studying media is that the, the, the clash and the tension between those two conceptions is continually fueling some of the most interesting conversations about what's possible with both technology and society in a kind of figure eight. Mm -hmm. um, so it's partly an object of real interest to me. It's also partly a lens to understand the larger changes that the Internet is bringing about.